Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Report by Jean Kazarusian. The subordination of Artsakh to Azerbaijan means the ethnic cleansing of Armenians. Ambassador Tigran Makarchan. Sergei Lavrov visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial and paid tribute to the victims. The construction of the settlement of the administrative territory of Astrakhan is pres. Sitting normally. The areas near the settlement of Dersim in Western Armenia were shelled. The geography of the Alevis in Marash is devastated. An underground city has been discovered in the immediate province of Western Armenia. Sunrise in Stepanaker. The art festival will unite the artists of Artsakh, Armenia, and the diaspora. As we reported in previous news release in a seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held on May 28. During the meeting, the report was delivered by the Deputy of National Assembly of Western Armenia, the flag bearer of Western Armenia, Chairman of the Association of Veterans and Resistant Fighters of France, Chairman of the Commission of Veterans and Disabled People, Patriotic Public and Community Organizations of France, Mr. Jean Hazarosian, in which he briefly presented his biography, in particular noting that his parents emigrated from Western Armenia, fleeing from the genocide committed against the Armenians. Hazarosian was born on March 7, 1938, joined the Association of Armenian Veterans in France in 1995, and then became the president. Jean Kazarosian presented a report on a work of association in the cities of Marcel, Antibes, Cannes, and Nice. He noted that the association has received great respect from various officials, mayors, and institutions. Dear compatriots, in the next issue, we will present the report of Resh Abrahamian, member of the Committee of Veterans People with Disabilities, Patriotic Public and Community Organizations, in the National Assembly of Western Armenia. The subordination of Artsakh to Azerbaijan means the ethnic cleansing of Armenians. Armenia's ambassador to Albania, Tigran Makarchan, stated this in an interview with the public radio of Albania during a working visit to Tirana, Armen Press reports. Presenting the Artsakh problem, the ambassador noted that Azerbaijan is trying to distort and present it in a different way. The Artsakh region exists as such, and it is not the Azerbaijanis who should erase the name of Artsakh from history. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, accompanied by Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan, visited the genocide of Western Armenia's memorial complex and paid tribute to the memory of the victims of genocide. This is reported by the ARA Foreign Ministry. We want to remind you that Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is in Armenia on a three-day visit. In the administrative territory of Astrakhan community of the Asker region of Artsakh, construction work is actively on the way to build a new settlement for families displayed from the community of Madatashen, Sakhnagh, Mokshmahat, and Jiragatsner. This was studied by the Chief Specialist of Artsakh Ministry of Urban Development, Vazgen Grigorian. In total, it is planned to build 149 mansions. Currently, the construction of 12 mansions have been completed, and 10 construction works are in the process, which will be completed in the near future. Work is also underway on the interior decoration of 16 mansions. The process of arrangement of private houses will begin soon, Grigorian noted. Work is also underway in the quarter to create underground and surface infrastructure and proof streets. A savage treatment plant will be built too. About 100 mansions will be put into operation by the end of the year, Grigorian noted. According to the information that has come down to us, military helicopters heavily shelled the high altitude areas of the villages of Kapker, Zoker, and Red Church in the Ovachik province of Western Armenia. The military operations carried out in their sim under the name Erem Blockade 7 is still going on. The report notes that the territory where the bombing took place is very close to the above villages. Western Armenia draws attention to this criminal act, once again noting the aggressive and inhuman policy of the Turkish state. The damage caused by hydroelectric power plants under construction in the Marash province of Western Armenia, as well as certain power plants, has brought animal husbandry and agriculture to the brink of extinction. This situation causes the immigration of the people living in the region. Thus, the massacre that began on December 19 to 26, 1987, in Marash, the policy of dehumanization of the region during which 111 people were killed, now continues to plant the nature. There are many different languages, cultures, and 
and faced in the region, but discrimination against the Alevis living there has continued throughout history. Having taken these lands from the Alevis, there were serious attempts to change the demographic structure. According to the massacre in Maraj, the Alevis were expelled from the center of Maraj, and their lands were taken away from those who remained there, encouraging them to go abroad. An underground city belonging to the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD was discovered in the Midiat province of the Merdim province of Western Armenia, where places of worship, walls and large number of artifacts were preserved. The Midiat is an open-air museum with its own history and culture, which creates a fabulous atmosphere with its thousand-year-old stone houses, pubs, churches and monasteries. In Gavar two years ago, as part of the restoration of historical streets and houses, a cave was found, which turned into not to be the only one. The internal passage from the cave to other residential areas was found. It is assumed that the underground city of Midiat was one of those residential areas, where at least 60-70 thousand people lived here. Sunrise Stepanakert Multimedia Art Festival starts in Artsakh on June 24. It has been held from the second year, which includes an exhibition of photography and digital art, musical performances, film screenings and creative workshops. Artists from both Artsakh, Armenia and Diaspora will take part in it. The exhibition will also feature works by foreign artists. This year's theme is Belonging. An attempt is made to present through art what belonging is in modern Armenian imagination. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.